Hello everybody, it's Rev. Rick here with Broadman Baptist Church and this is the Broadman Word for September 28th, 2020. And today I'm going to talk to you about something just a little bit um, on the edges of comfortable. Uh, it would be spiritual laziness. You know, laziness is rooted in self-love. It's taking care of um, ourselves, taking care of uh, ourselves off the hook and opting for the comfortable instead of the best. Uh, and of course, grace isn't lazy. In 2 Corinthians uh, 5.15, says that Jesus came so that those who live may no longer live for themselves. And when we engage in um, cruise control as Christians, or we opt for the comfortable, uh, we start to live for ourselves, which is the exact opposite of what we're told about why Jesus came. Embedded in that simple phrase is a diagnostic uh, that applies to every person who has ever lived. The Apostle Paul is arguing here that the coming of and sacrifice of, of Jesus was necessary because the DNA of sin is selfishness. Sin causes us to ignore God's existence and his rightful claim on absolutely every area of our life. Because God is not then in his rightful place in the center of everything, then with spiritual laziness, we put ourselves there. By inserting yourself in that place, your life can start to become all about you. The borders of your concern then go little farther than um, the concerns for yourself. It can reduce your focus down to some pretty small pieces of things and not um, the wide breadth of scope that Jesus wants us to have. Um, it can then very easily become about your wants, your needs, your feelings, excuse me, <clears throat> in ways that really do end up shaping your living um, by making it all about you. The desires of your heart then are gobbled up by ease and comfort and pleasure and worldly successes. You know, it's the old, I want what I want when I want it thing. Um, and then that makes you happy. Well, worldly happy anyway. So sin and sinners then tend to make things about themselves. We work to avoid anything that is hard or uncomfortable to do and tend to even sometimes curse hard work or the need to serve others, the call to persevere, the inescapable reality of needing to suffer for the cross, the requirement of daily labor, uh, the call to engage yourself in the work of a kingdom that's bigger than your own, uh, or the moral requirement to use your gifts um, for the benefit and to have effort for the benefit, for the glory of someone other than yourself. These are things that are difficult for humans to get past. And so we then tend to shun them and uh, place ourselves in the center of our own lives instead of where Jesus Christ should be. Um, these are ways in which sin makes us all avoiders tends to make us all think that the good life is a life free of the need for these sorts of labors. But the fact of the matter is, we were actually created to work for the kingdom and for the benefit of others. And not just for the good of our own lives, but we are called to willing and joyful submission um, to the one who created us, and that requires work. Work is not a curse. We shouldn't think of it that way. Uh, it is how we are created. Uh, we should identify with work. 
one of the reasons we were put on work on earth is to care for the physical world that God made for us. It is true that the work we are called to do in submission to the one who made us has been more difficult in recent times um, because we now labor in a seriously broken world and one that seems to be committed um, to falling even further away from God than it is now. Um, before the fall, though, when the world was perfect, even Adam and Eve um, were instructed to work. So um, laziness in general, particularly spiritual laziness, is one of those things that is an ever-present argument for our need for grace. Uh, until grace has ultimately completed its work, we will tend to find work more of a burden than a calling and a joy. Grace and grace alone is able to make otherwise lazy people industrious workers for the glory of the Lord. We should seek out tasks that we can do uh, in the kingdom in fulfillment of our individual mission and the bigger mission to honor and glorify God. Uh, in doing so, we can stave off this tendency of sin to make us lazy and uh, focused on ourselves. If you want some additional encouragement on this, some additional study on this, um, Genesis chapters 1 through 3 uh, do a pretty good job of explaining um, the situation. But for now, I love you. Take care. And uh, let's not be spiritually lazy. Let's remain engaged. Let's remain aware of our unique mission given to us by God and literally um, go out into the kingdom and be an ambassador for Christ every day. A hardworking, engaged, laborious ambassador for God. Take care.